Hello nerds, welcome to my channel A Medic Abroad. I am currently a locum SHL working in a hospital in London. Come and join my journey. Today I'm working in ambulatory care or SDEC which stands for same day emergency care. Hopefully you've watched my other videos on working in this part of the hospital but if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date and then also after you watch this video check out my old videos on working in SDEC. Hello guys, it's currently 8.53am, I start at 9, so I'm a couple of minutes early, so I managed to clean my desk. I just wanted to say, always, you're always a doctor wherever you go, so obviously I don't know how to drive, I'm still learning, so wish me luck with that, but I decided to take a taxi today because it was super, super rainy and there's lots of traffic and there was lots of delays and things, so basically I went in a taxi with a young chap and whilst he was driving he was talking to me having a good old chin wag i realized he had quite severe clubbing of his fingers so i told i asked him do you smoke sir and he was like yeah dude how did you know and i was like i was explaining to him how i knew from the clubbing so i just advised him to go get a checkup because maybe there might be some like lung issues or something and he was just like he's been meaning to go but he's really scared but i was like yeah you should do it and obviously i was encouraging smoking cessation but yeah, that was just random to say that everywhere you go, you're always seeing things and noticing things. And you're like, oh, should I say something? Should I not say something? But he was really, really thankful for me saying something to him. So always let people know if you see something. So what's Estec? Basically, it's a bridge between the GPs and the hospitals where we do stuff for patients to avoid them actually having to be admitted in. You get quite a bit of patients with things like atrial fibrillation, cellulitis, chest infections, etc. And then you deal with that and sometimes you do follow-ups and see the patients again later on in the week or the following week, depending on what's going on. And this seeing a 30 year old female coming um, with the range LFTs. We were reviewing her to see if the trend is improving. Um, it's much more improved. Um, the only thing is they have come in also with slightly reduced phosphate. So I'm requesting as repeat bloods next week just to review that. Make sure the infirmity markers are still improving. Make sure the LFTs are not going back up. And also just to see if she needs phosphate replacement. I've encouraged an enriched diet or intake of fluids because she's not really drinking much. Um, and just gave her some safety netting. Now I'm going to see a male um, in their 50s I think who has poorly controlled blood pressure due to non-compliance there might also be renal cause as well um, because they had some protein urea so I've requested an ultrasound KUB I've requested an echo um, and I'm also going to be prescribing the medication and trying to see if I can get them to be more compliant um, they do have a background of schizophrenia and are currently on risperidone BD um, so we'll see what's going on with them and see if there's anything else that needs to be done um, and I'm chasing the bloods from today to see if there's any other abnormalities um, they were referred by A&E um, slightly raised CRP and white blood cell count so there might also be some other additional issue there going on as well but I think the main thing is getting their BP on the Looking at the chest x-ray, checking for the size of the heart if there's obvious cardiomegaly, looking if the hilar are enlarged, suggesting pulmonary congestion, any focal consolidation suggestive of infection, or if there's signs of effusion, which could be an indication of heart failure, and many other things. Booked ultrasound KUB for the guy with high BP um, and giving him some stat meds. Um, he's going to have it in about an hour's time. I'm seeing another patient. 61 year old female suspected GCA um, so I'm waiting for the bloods including ESR and going to review the patient do physical examination and kind of sum up what I want to do and we'll take it from there so then I'll probably have a break because I'm actually getting a little bit peckish now so I had that had 
high BP of over 180, 190. That was referred from Amy. Has had that ultrasound KUB. There doesn't seem to be anything really untoward except for cyst and one of the kidneys. So maybe that could be an attribution factor. Um, but I definitely want them to come in to get reviewed again. I'm getting repeat ops to see how they responded to the BP meds we've already given. Um, and I've also requested the echo in the system now. Um, and we'll take it from there and see if we can if there's been a positive change today. They've I've had a discussion with them about taking their medication and they seem to be agreeing with doing that. So hopefully they will be more compliant this time around. But they do have a background history of um, very high blood pressures in their families and hem brain hemorrhages and things like that. So we have to keep an eye on it. And obviously, if they're going to be discharged today, give adequate safety netting. I've seen the patient, the male patient, with the extremely high systolic BP. They responded to um, some, uh, I think it was nifedipine or almidopine and ramipril. Um, and BP went down systolic to around 168. But obviously, these come down a bit long more. In the process, I've referred to cardiology, who's advised adding two milligram doxazazine BD. Um, I've also referred to nephrology because they had an ultrasound that's found a eight millimeter cyst on the right upper pole of the kidney. So it could be the cyst that is linked to the hypertension, but to what degree, I don't know. Um, I feel like they have hypertension in general and it might exacerbate it, but I don't know to what degree. So I've referred to nephrology for advice regarding that and if they need further investigation. Um, I've asked the patient to go to an eye clinic tomorrow to get eyes checked because their ECG shows left ventricular hypertrophy and strain. So there's clearly some organ involvement from the hypertension. Um, I've also requested an echo and I want them to come back to ambulatory care in 48 hours to see how they're responding to the three new blood pressure medications. They weren't previously compliant due to having headaches. I think it was with amidopine, so I've changed it to nifidipine. I've added doxazazine and the um, ramipro as I discussed earlier on. And I'm hoping that they'll be okay. Um, and in the meantime, I've given them red flags to look for that would alert them to come straight to A&E. But thankfully, their BPs come down and they'll have another dose in the evening time. Hello guys, once again, thank you so much for your support. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And don't forget to share this video to everyone you know. Thank you and looking forward to seeing you guys again soon. <laughs>